In this episode, the very first recorded episode of 2024, we're going to take a look back at 2023 to be able to spot certain instances where you need to claim your power back. So let's get our power back. If we lost any power, left it in 2023, let's pick it up, collect it, and bring it into 2024 so we can have a whole new energy and life and conviction about us because our work matters now more than ever before. So stay tuned. I'm Adam Kadu, and it's time to master the art of real heart alignment, where you live, work, and play from your personal power as energy aligns, your gifts flow, and life simply works. These life-changing conversations are designed to help you to see what you're not seeing, hear what you're not hearing, and to be who you're not being as the world needs more heart-centered leaders now more than ever. Are you ready to say no to living a half-hearted life and say yes instead to boldly living from a place of real heart alignment? Welcome to the Adam Kadu Podcast. Yo, 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 welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to the Adam Kadu Podcast. On this episode, I'm gonna take a moment to invite you to go on a little journey with me. And in this journey, we're gonna travel back in time to a land long ago called 2023. I'm actually recording this episode January 1st, 2024. It's a brand new year, y'all. Big things are ahead. Exciting things are ahead. There's just like this new birthing, new life that comes with a new year at times. We've all felt it. This is my year. This is the year that I'm doing it. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm this way, that way, the other way. I'm committed. I'm all in. You know, we enter this year with so much life. But little by little, inch by inch, we lose that power. We lose that vitality, that energy. And if we don't take the time to pick it back up, embody it again, and also give other people back their energy that you might have picked up on as an empath, a sensitive being, as you likely are, if you're listening to this podcast, you know, I have a program called Heart Centered Selling. I'm all heart. I'm all about alignment. I'm all about being real, being authentic. And so if we are talking about energy and power, we give a lot of our power, our heart away. And so here we go. So I did a exercise at an event here recently where I called my power back. And I've done certain iterations like that before, but this really clicked with me. It really clicked. And we're not going to do this exercise. You know, chances are you've done hypnosis or guided visualizations. I'm going to plant the seeds for this so you can take your time and space to do this exercise if you feel called to after this podcast. But I'm going to keep it to some some things we're just going to cover and jam on today. But essentially, the exercise went where you would um, think of a time in the recent past where you got frustrated, you got upset, you were mad, something happened, you just gave your power away. And it doesn't necessarily need to be giving your power away to somebody else. You just had a moment where you just leaked energy and you just were not at your best. So then from there, you kind of get there, right, in your mind, and you feel into that and identify the emotions and feelings that you were experiencing in that moment. Then what we do, we can take a moment to recollect some of our energy in that moment. Maybe you felt guilty about something, or maybe you felt you said something that was just silly, or, you know, you're just like, oh, that was just, <laughs> I shouldn't have said it like that, or, or whatnot, or maybe you were just kind of like not uh, real present at one time or the next with anybody, significant others, kids, families, whatever, and see yourself in that moment and feel what you lost in that moment or released in that moment. Chances are you can actually feel energy leaving your body or the way you felt. And so what you can actually do is trace this back, this feeling back further and figure out where it kind of like started. Because there was one point in time where this happened, this imprint happened. And then from here on out, we have these little trigger moments. When we get triggered, we feel it flush up. But we know it's a trigger because I love this uh, perspective here. And we're going to get to some of the 2023 stuff, but say for an example, 
you're an alien coming to this earth for the very first time. And something that happened that usually would trigger you, you have no context, you have no past experience. You're just here like totally experiencing this. And this thing happens to you and you're like, what was that? What is this person doing? Or what was what happened there? You'd have no context for it. It would not stem or trigger anything inside of you. So that's when you know it's a, it's a trigger. If it's coming up by mere words or whatever, because somebody literally says mop, 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 mop to you, they make some noises with their vocal, their vocal cord, <laughs> and then you have some reaction. But if you were an alien, you came here for the very first time, full presence, just experiencing things, not really knowing what the heck people are doing around here, somebody does that, you're not going to be upset. So there was a moment in time where this started where you gave your power away. Chances are as a kid, All right? So if you can trace it back there and see yourself in that moment, reclaim your power, stand a little taller. And what happens to me when I do energy work and energy exercises like this, I will actually feel certain parts in my body either relax and release. Like sometimes my shoulders have tension in them. If I reclaim my power in a moment, I'll feel some relaxation I'll feel my body kind of correct its posture a little bit. And I'll, I'll even feel parts of my brain waking up. And so there's so much that I am really physically like feeling and sensing and uh, experiencing power coming back to me. And yet again, we've got to quiet our minds and get there. And if you have a skeptic filter and you're like, what is this wacky thing we're talking about? Then chances are you might not get there, but if you're open and aware, you can feel it anyways. So Beautiful exercise. I come back from the event and I've got the crud, right? Like we're, we're sick. The family's sick. <laughs> it seems to happen every, every single year I go to business by design just cause I go so hard and, you know, just exposed to different things and, um, just give my all. And yeah, came back, I was down and then my little buddy Bentley went down and then my wife PJ went down. And then a few days later, Jax went down. So this lasted, like we ran through it probably like a, a week and a half just like not feeling well. Kids just needed to like cuddle all day, every day. So basically December was a lot of nada. And that's kind of how this year was as well. There was a lot of instances where I was excited to do things and I didn't get to do them for one reason or the next. And also I had big plans starting the first of the year and I was losing sleep due to my, you know, now two-year-old, almost two-year-old. And I was just unable to I, I, I would say I, I didn't have my container set up in a way I didn't have the support I needed to stay focused. So there was a lot of times where I was just like, where in the heck am I? And I would like lose track of my plan and where, you know, uh, cause I, I've worked so hard through the years in 2014, I believe I started a program called aim your focus. Uh, it was a productivity program, if you will, but it was a lot about getting stuff out of your mind, gaining clarity, opening yourself up to be able to, see more clearly what's in front of you. And so that's the work I was needed to do back then. So I've done so much work about productivity and focus and uh, time management and all that stuff early on, but I still am like kind of just messy with my planning. It's just, I've got to be created, creative and have that spontaneity in it where I can just grab a piece of paper and do it out. Uh, and so sometimes I just lose sight of my plan and everything. That's one thing that I'm really focused on this year is letting go Oh, I can feel it already. Feel it already in my, what is that? My uh, solar plex, my heart, heart area. Also, I can let it go. This idea, this beating myself up that I should be better at planning and executing and implementing. There's a lot of guilt around that. Should have been there already. And sometimes we don't see what we don't see until we take the time to go back in our minds and just think about the year. What happened in December? Well, just maybe some, you know, hard feelings with family, this or that, or, you know, just wish we could have got more for the kids for Christmas or wish we wouldn't have spent so much, whatever. There's going to be something in December that you gave your power away to. All right. So take a moment to reclaim it and then go back November. Well, we were, you know, Thanksgiving and families and, you know, and all this and, you know, Black Friday shopping and, you know, a lot of stuff. I'm sure there's something in there that you gave your power away. And just kind of go back through the year. You don't have to do every single month and be so tedious with it, but feel into it and even feel yourself going back in time energetically. It's almost like you're going to the back of your mind a little bit. And when you do this, 
take the moment. And if it's something that's kind of big, it's like, okay, I, uh, I can breathe this in. And so I, d- I didn't actually give the exercise when I was speaking about it earlier. So what you essentially do is you're in that moment, you breathe back in your energy. And also at the same time, you see some form of light, a certain color that is near and dear to you. One of your favorite colors or something that just seems to make sense, whether it be just like a blue for an ocean or just green or lavender, purple, violet, whatever. See that, or it's even mixed colors. See that coming back into your heart. So you're breathing in. You see that energy circling into your heart. And then any energy that needs to be let go of circles out of you and back to them. (sighs) Or if there was nobody involved, you can give that energy of that situation back to that place and time and give it back. Let it set. So, okay. So back to 2023. So one of the things that I felt off and guilty about was my lack of consistency with getting heart centered selling mastery, my flagship program out and into the public, ready to serve. I didn't feel where I was at mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, for sure, that launching was the best thing to do. Because there's been, yet again, a couple years back, numerous times where I was in the process of launching and with young kids and all that, it just, just, what else? What else, what else? And totally fine with that. This gave me an opportunity to get really good at managing my time and intention to the nth degree. So my wife and I, earlier this year, we went through five or six different nannies in a short amount of time, and none of them were working and sticking around and all that. So we just felt like the universe wanted us to stay close to the little guys. So we both started working 20 hours a week, blessed we could do that. And that leaves me with 20 hours to create and to deliver and to lead the team and to build the team. And it was very, very, very challenging and very, very, very frustrating at times because I'm the type of person, I feel like I need some space. I need to roll into the day, sit in the office, drink a little coffee, doodle some stuff out, do some brain dumps, do some organizing, and then I'll get going a bit. But if you're working four hours a day, or in most cases, a little bit less than that, you ain't got time to diddle daddle. You got to be intentional. But what's cool is there's going to be some point in time where the Oh, daily schedule opens up so I can run a little bit more. But until then, what a freaking blessing. So there for a while, I was cussing all the nanny stuff because literally we'd hire a new nanny and I'd have to stay close and train her and the wife would have, or PJ would have to stay close and like trainers. We spent so much time and energy for like a couple of weeks getting them acclimated. Then we're back to work. They might, you know, hang out for a week or two and then decide that this isn't for them. So then we have to interview again. We have to, you know, do all this over and over and over again. It was just like crazy. So that's how we just started this whole year out. And then, like I said, I had to figure out how to fit my working style and my goals and everything else into working four hours a week. So that was challenging as well. And so there was some energy, some stickiness about feeling like I had to do that or whatever, even though it was uh, not up to me, it was up, (laughs) the cards were up in the universe, not anything that we could really help with that, but it was, it was just like, I should be doing more and all this. So even that thought of should be doing more leaking energy, even my power away. And my primary main pillar in my heart center selling mastery program is all about powerful presence. And so being, it's a sales program, you would think, you know, chest held high and energy and, you know, and and all that, but it's about being powerfully present. And through the last couple of years, through, you know, 2023, which was, I haven't got the final numbers yet, but it was a definitely a down year in terms of revenue, which is completely fine. Uh, you would maybe assume that if you don't have your business set up in a way that's going to run without you, which 
that was the intention before Little Man Jax got here, but we just didn't quite get get there. But 2023, it was it was what it was. And so heading into this new year, you got an opportunity to wipe the slate clean. Wipe the slate clean. So powerful presence. In all that was going on, lack of sleep, literally like waking up every two hours for months and months and months and months and months. I lost sight of a lot of my spiritual and energetic practices. You know, just like breathing and feeling love, doing a meditation where I just feel so just lit up with love. Uh, taking time to make sure that I'm settled and centered. There's a few different ways I do this. One is just gazing at something, kind of seeing through an object that's a, a bit away from you. The other one is actually staring at something and watching where your eyes are starting to try to dart away. That kind of means you need to center and settle. There's just so many different things that I'm doing or used to do <laughs> to make sure I'm in a powerful state to create. And so that way, when I come to these four hours of work that I have, I don't, you know, him and haul or have to get, you know, in a great place because being with the kids all morning, them guys are, them guys are busy guys. Like they are on it. Like they are, do, always doing something into something, you know, most of the time, the things they're not supposed to do. And so it's, it's, it's taxing a bit. So I've got to make sure that in these four hours in the afternoon that I work and I got to be at my best. I got to manage my energy. I got to make sure that I'm not carrying crap from yesterday, the day before, and the day before. Because when you're carrying all this baggage, it makes you so freaking heavy. When you're heavy, you already know you cannot fly. So let's let this crap go. Let it go. So I invite you to take a moment to look back at 2023 and just feel through it a little bit. What are some of the things that you gave your power away to? Where were you? What were you doing? Who were you with? What was it specifically? And sometimes you, something will flush up like, oh, yeah, I actually need to look into that a little bit. You know, there was something that came up at uh, this event I was at that I had planned to look at that I'm really putting at the forefront of everything that I'm doing this year. Because yet again, I lost sight of so much last year. I started representing this brand, if you will, of real heart alignment being real to yourself, opening your heart, caring deeply for others and for yourself, and also being in alignment with the work you're here to do. So aligning your strengths, your values, your gifts with the work you're here to do. And a lot of people get too in their head about that, finding their purpose and things of that nature. It's not about finding your purpose. It's about being on purpose. And so real hard alignment. It's a new opportunity for me to step back into that and to share with my heart and to commit to being of service more intentionally because I don't think I released a podcast uh, episode since, since September. Uh, lots happening in the world. And I want to make sure that I'm doing my work of opening my heart, and being of service, sharing a good message and trusting that when you listen to this podcast, you feel yourself just a little bit more motivated, a little bit more inspired, a little bit more excited about your road ahead. Because that's a huge part to make sure your physical space, your physiology, and your psychology are all on point in a way where you can fulfill on the contracts that you signed before coming here, the work you're here to do, because we've all got work that we are here to do for ourselves, in ourselves, on ourselves, and also for the world, because we are wholeheartedly all in this together. And if you're not playing your full game, or if I'm not playing my full game, then this person and this person and this person aren't playing their full game. And it spreads like a virus. So find it in your heart to stay a little bit more intentional this year. 
I don't usually, I used to do this in the past. I don't usually choose a word for the year, but this year wholeheartedly, I choose integrity to make sure that what I commit to on a daily and weekly basis is getting done no matter what. And I've built more systems and processes around myself now to make sure that happens because I got to box myself in to have more structure and stability and focus and intentionality in order to fly. And it used to be, I just wanted to fly and expand and go this way, that way, the other way, but I got work to do and focus is part of the work. That's one of my dragons to tame in this lifetime is to stay focused and intentional. And in that focus and intentionality, I will create. And so find that for yourself as well. What's your dragon that you need to tame? What would serve you greatly this year for you to master? And are you committed to making it happen? Because we all come out of the gate, ready to go. New year, new you, hitting the gym. The gym memberships go through the roof. Everybody's got a gym membership. And then come February, you know, got some skinned up knees, bumped up elbows, just feeling kind of just down already. We're going to keep the energy high. We're going to have a lot of fun this year. So stick with me on the Adam Cadu podcast. And until next time, go all in with passion and love and excitement so you can lead a life you absolutely love. So much love to you and yours. Happy New Year. Talk soon. Thank you, thank you, thank you for listening to another episode of the Adam Cadu podcast. If you would take a moment to subscribe and click the bell icon so that way you get notified when future episodes air. Now here's the thing. If you are looking for the show notes, you can find a link to those below. If you're looking for the handles of the guests that I've been interviewing, things of that nature, you'll find that here. And if there's anything else that stood out to you in the episode, or if there's anything I can do for you, please leave a comment below or for sure message me on Instagram if you'd like, as I'm always looking to hear what's working well for you and what caught your interest about the Adam Cadu podcast. So it's time to go, time to change the world, time to help more people. Are you ready? Let's go do this thing. The world needs more leaders. So thanks again for listening to the Adam Could Do podcast.